Welcome to question number four. In this question we have AC which is parallel to uh, DE. So AC is parallel to DE. We have angles ACB which is 90 degrees. We have angles ADE which is 60 degrees. And we are as the angle ABC. So we are as the value of X. Now what do we have here? We have two parallel lines and as you can see we have the Z form. What did we say when we have the Z form? So this angle will be equal always to this angle. As we know this rule, we see that this is 60 degrees, it means that this will be 60 degrees as well. Now the rest is very easy because we already have the two angles and it's easy now to find for the value of x. So we have 90 plus 60 plus x which is equal to 180 degrees. So we have x which is equal to 180 minus 150 because 90 plus 60 is 150. So x is equal to Welcome to question number five. In this question, as you can see, we have two triangles which share the same side and that side is x and we are asked the value of x. So what is the rule when we are asked to find one side of a uh, triangle when we are given the other two sides? So the value of x, we are always, uh, for now we are referring to the, uh, to the upper uh, triangle. So the value of x will always be greater than the, uh, the subtraction of these two sides and less than the addition of these two sides. So what is the value of x? In the, it's between 2 and 10. Now the same logic we are, we're going to apply to find the value of x but for this triangle in this, uh, in this case. So we have, so the value of x should be, uh, should be between the subtraction of uh, these two sides which is 9 minus 3 and it should be less than the addition of these two sides which is 9 plus 3. So what are the values of x in this case? They are 6 and uh, so x is between 6 and 12. Now here we have two inequalities. What do we do to find the, uh, the value of these two inequalities? When we are dealing with the numbers that are less than x we always take the highest number which in this case is 6 and we do the opposite when we look at the numbers that, which are greater than x so here we take the lowest number. So the values of x are between 6 and 10. Welcome to question number 6. In this question we have a triangle and we are given certain information about this triangle. So we have AB, side AB which is equal to C. We have side BC which is equal to A. And we have a side CA which is equal to B. And we are given angle BAC which is 110. We are given angle ABC which is equal to 50. And we are asked the value of the absolute value of B minus A minus the absolute value of C minus A. Now what do we have to do here? First let's find the angle to find the value of angle C. So 50 plus 110 is equal to 160. So minus, uh, 180 minus 160, it gives us 20. So the value of this angle is 20 degrees. Now, why it's important for us to know uh, the value of these angles? Because they reflect the value of their sides. So which is the, uh, which is the shortest side of this triangle? we refer to the angles. So in this case it's C because C is, angle C is only 20 degrees so C happens to be the shortest side of this triangle. Now which is the second shortest one? We can see that is B so A remains the, remains the, the largest side. Now what do we have here? We have C which is less than B which is less than A. Now we have the absolute value of B minus A so B is le it's, it's, uh, it's smaller than A. So if we subtract B from A, it means that we will get, 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 we will get a negative number. So what does that happen? So in this case, we will have minus B plus A. So that's going to be the value of this absolute value. So we have minus. Now we have, since we have minus here, uh, we have, uh, so we can see, we can apply the same logic here. So C is less than a so the subtraction of uh, C from A is going to give us a negative one so we have here minus so it's going to be minus C plus A we just follow the same logic that we did over here so what is left now we have minus B plus A minus times minus is plus C minus times plus is is negative so we have minus A so plus A and minus A cancel each other so the value of this expression will be equal to C minus B.